we learned how to create a UI view and place it on a parent view or self.view using frames. Then we also used auto resizing masks in order to show how we can make the width expand or the height expand based on the auto resizing masks that we add. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the visual auto format or the auto form auto layout visual format language in order to place views on the screen and to allow them to size appropriately. So the first thing we're going to do is create a UI view, call it view. We're going to use new to allocate and initialize some memory. Next we're going to initialize the views frame. We're going to set it to a CG rect zero. This means that the X and Y coordinates are zero and the width and height is also zero. Next we're going to set the views background color property so we can see it, UI color, green color. And then we're going to set a UI view translates auto resizing a mask into constraints equal to no. What that does is says, says to the view, don't try and translate what you know into auto, re, into auto layout constraints. I'm going to specify them. Then we need to do a self.view, add subview, view. Now that we've created a view, we've got a background color, we've told it not to translate its auto resizing mask into constraints, we need to create those constraints. We're going to do this by creating an NS dictionary. We'll call it dictionary. We're going to use a function within it of NS dictionary of variable bindings. We're pass in our view. What that does, remembering that a dictionary is a bunch of key value pairs, this creates a dictionary where the variable is also the name. So the object is also the key. So the key value pair, the value is also the key. Next, we're going to create an NS dictionary. We're going to call this one metrics. Now, if we wanted to create some static metrics for width or height or position, we could do that. Remembering that creating a dictionary uses the curly brackets instead of the square brackets. Now we need to make the actual constraints. So for this, we're going to take the parent view, which is our self.view. We're going to add constraints. And then we're going to pass in an NS layout constraint. We're going to call it constraints with visual format. Now we have to pass it, put in our visual format. So for this, we're going to put in an H and a colon. That means we're setting the constraints for the view, for the parent view in the horizontal direction. Next, we're going to put in a bar line. What that says is that we want, the bar line is representative of the far left pixel on the screen. We want to put 100 pixels in between that left, far left pixel and where we put in our view. So the way we put in a view is we put in our square brackets. Next, we want to have it between, be 100 pixels from the other side as well. So we've got a left side right here, and then we go 100 in, we place our view, and then we have it 100 from the right side. Now you'll notice we didn't specify a width for the view. All we did is specify a distance from each side. That's going to allow our view to expand or contract based on the size of the screen. Next, we have our NS layout format options. For right now, we're just going to put in a zero there. Next, we pass in our metrics. If we had placed any metrics in there, this constraint would know how to handle those. And then we're going to pass in our dictionary of views. Add our semicolon, and we've now created the horizontal constraint. Just like with our X and Y and size and height, we have to do that with every view that we have in our self.view or in our parent view. So we, we're going to copy and paste this. We've created our horizontal constraint. Now we need to create our vertical constraint. We do that by changing the H to a V, and we're going to make some changes to it. I don't want it to be constrained to the top and the bottom, so now the bar line here is the top pixel. We're going to do 100 from the top, and then we have our UI view. I actually want to make it a certain height, so I'm going to put some parentheses in there, a double equal sign, and say I want it to be 100. Now I should have a view that's 100 from the top and is 100 high. When I build and run, pulling up my simulator, I have a green view that's 100 from the left side, 100 from the right side, 100 from the top, and it has a width of 100. 
Now before I had to put in auto resizing masks in order to make sure it would expand. But because I'm using an S layout, an S auto layout, I'm, when I switch to horizontal, you can see it expands just as it's supposed to with the same width and parameters that we placed all around it. So that's how we set up auto layout using the visual format language.